Welcome to 360D CAD. Take a pause to like the video. To stay updated with new videos, subscribe the channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to perform the thermal analysis that is a static thermal analysis using a CAE software and we are going to use ANSYS workbench to solve this problem. So the problem given is a metallic pin with a thermal conductivity 70 watt per meter degree Kelvin having 1 cm radius and 5 cm long extend from a plane wall whose temperature is 140 degree Celsius. So the a wall is given at which the pin is attached and the wall is having a 140 degree Celsius temperature. And we have to determine the temperature distribution along the pin. If heat is transferred to ambient air at 20 degree Celsius with the heat transfer coefficient of 5 watt per meter square degree Kelvin. So for this particular problem, we are going to use an ANSYS workbench. So in this, you have to select the steady state thermal analysis. So just drag it and drop it in the screen. Then select the engineering data to define the material properties. So here what we have given in the question is thermal conductivity is 70 watt per meter degree Kelvin. So this data we are going to enter over here. It is given in watt per meter degree Celsius or meter degree Kelvin both are now no, nothing but the same thing. So we will enter the value of 70 watt per meter degree Kelvin and we will just close the engineering data. Then we will go into the geometry and in geometry we have to draw a pin which is a circular pin or we can say it as a cylindrical shape having a centimeter one centimeter radius and five centimeter length. So in a geometry, we are going to draw an XY plane. So just right click on XY plane and click at look at. So our XY plane will come parallel to our screen. Now we have to go to the sketching and draw one particular circle. Before that, we are going to change the unit system to millimeter and draw a random circle. Then in a dimension, we have to set a radius as 1 centimeter or we can say it as a 10 mm so radius we are going to enter as 10 then we have to extrude this particular circle that sketch is been generated now we have to extrude it and under the xy plane we can see it as a one sketch now click on extrude command select the sketch and click on apply in the geometry so your sketch is been selected and it is been extruded by 30 mm but we required 5 cm that is 50 mm and click on generate right now it is showing zero part and zero body when we click on generate it will show one solid body and one part so our geometry is completed so close the design modular it will save the part automatically now let's come back to the our um, steady state thermal problem now we have to double click on model to define the properties what we have been given that is it is attached to the wall which is having 140 degree celsius and we have to apply the ambient temperature to 20 degree celsius and the heat transfer coefficient is 5 watt per meter square degree kelvin so these properties we have to apply to our problem So our mechanical has been open. So we have to first generate a meshing. So just right click on mesh in and click on generate mesh. We will go with the default mesh size. Then we have to apply a temperature of 140 degree Celsius on one side of a pin. So right click on steady state thermal select insert temperature and we are going to select the one side of the pin which is attached to the wall and in the geometry click on apply and we have to set the temperature of geometry to be 140 degree celsius now we are going to apply a surface on which we have to apply the convection so select the convection select the side of the pin and also we are going to see, set the other side of a pin 
as a convection body by pressing a control button. Then in the geometry click on apply and in the pin coefficient we are going to set 5 Weber per meter square degree Celsius and ambient temperature which is given to us is nothing but a 20. Now we have to right click on solution and click on solve. So all the mathematical equations are being generated and solved simultaneously to calculate the result. So depending on your system and number of nodes and elements you have created it will take some time. So right click is been given means our solution is been done. Now we have to right click on solution to check out the result. So go to the insert thermal and temperature to see a temperature distribution. So right click on a temperature and click on evaluate all result. So it is showing us the temperature distribution of a pin where maximum temperature showing is a 140 degree Celsius and the minimum temperature is 137.45 degree Celsius. So inner inter between uh, temperature is being shown with the various color which you can change check in the range given in the left side bar. Okay, so that's all for the steady state thermal problem. Thank you everyone. If you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe the channel and stay updated. Thank you.